Hey everyone, I'm Doug. Uh, wanted to talk to you today about the differences between three of New Era's flagship caps. Uh, that would be the, the standard bearer, the 5950, uh, also the low profile 5950, and the 3930, which is actually a stretch fit cap. So these two are both fitted, uh, size to your, your head, and then this one is a stretch fit, so there's three different size ranges for that. Um, and it's meant to take up the size with the stretchable fabric as well. So um, we'll take a look at these. We'll do side-by-side -side comparisons first of uh, two at a time, and then we'll kind of wrap it up and take a look at the whole uh, offering amongst these three cap styles. So stay tuned. This is the standard 5950 from New Era. This is the low profile. The biggest differences you experience when you compare these caps is obviously the name. It's low profile, which means it has lower volume in the crown and a lower height overall. So basically that's the biggest difference. But also when you get one at the store or ship to your house, you'll notice that the standard 5950 always comes with a flat bill. Um, so if you wanna do any shaping on that, you gotta curve it yourself. The 5950 low profile does have a slight pre-curve to the bill when you get it from the store or wherever. And um, these two caps, I've done shaping of my own on the bill a little bit, so that's the style that I prefer. Um, but it does come flat on the 5950. So other than that, everything else is pretty straightforward. The construction is almost all the same, um, except for those two factors. Uh, you still get the two pan front two panels with the buckram uh, bonded to the fabric, so that gives the stiffness of those front two panels. Um, it's still a structured cap, so you've got a nice uh, robust uh, sizing material and sweatband construction here that keeps the structure of the cap. Um, and then as you look at some of the interior details, they're just identical basically. So you get the branded seam covers, the 5950 brand on those, and also the labels stitched into the back of the sweatband. And then when you go to the back of the cap, you see the MLB logo overall. Usually uh, colors complement the team colors. And then uh, the only other thing you'll notice is, uh, of course, the New Era flag logo. Uh, this Nationals cap, I bought it before the 2016 move to include that on all the caps. Here we've got a standard 5950 along with a standard 3930, which I think is part of New Era's core classic 3930 that they refer to. So uh, biggest obvious difference is that this is a stretch fitted cap. So when you talk about a structured cap like the standard 5950 and then you go to a 3930, the biggest thing you notice is you can see the um, internal structure of this is much more robust. You've got uh, something to keep that um, structured crown. Um, and then back here, this is how they deliver the stretch fit function. So you've got a more elastic sweatband or an elastic sweatband. And then these panels um, do have to seem, seem to have some give in them along with the seams so that you can kind of get that stretch conformance to your head. Um, the other thing that's uh, quite clear is that uh, the crown is quite a bit uh, shorter and there's less overall volume in the cap on the 3930. Um, again, you can kind of see the raked slope on that and you get much more of a higher um, front, front end on these two panels. Um, but uh, those are the two biggest differences. So fitted, stretch fitted, and then when you flip to the inside of the cap, they're really quite similar um, in the fact that you've got the two um, panels, front panels that are bonded with the buckram, so it does give you that structured fit up front. And then the, the seam covers, still the branded seam covers, sweatband, uh, labels are pretty same, uh, pretty much the same. But then you start to notice the differences here. Uh, the sweatband, uh, the flexibility I talked about earlier, this also has a terry cloth element to it, top and bottom, above the flexible areas, um, which ends up making this a little bit more comfortable. Uh, some people prefer this sweatband compared to the standard 5950, which is much more of a uniform textile um, and is a little bit more rigid. However, I have noticed that the, uh, the ones in the 3930 tend to be a little bit hotter for me, especially if I'm wearing in the summer. Um, it seems to hold the heat in a little bit better or a little, yeah, a little bit worse 
um, makes it a little uncomfortable compared to the standard 5950. Um, spinning around to the back of the cap is one other difference that you pick up on right away, and that is that the standard on-field caps always have the MLB logo here, while with this 3930, most of these have a branded word mark of the team, so you can see the Dodgers here on the back, um, and that's, that's really common on the 3930s that I've seen. Um, I have not seen one yet with the MLB logo on it. Uh, the first thing that you notice here is there's actually some similarities in the crown height. Um, I'd say these are pretty much identical. If you give this a little bit more structure here, you can probably see from the video here that these are just about the same height. The volume within the cap uh, over your head is just about the same as well. So uh, that's the biggest similarity here. These are both shipped with a pre-curve on the bill as well, so these are not going to come flat, but uh, both of these models will have a pre-curve when you pick them up at the store. Um, and then the other thing is that uh, when you go to the inside of the cap, obviously you've got the stretch um, and the lack of structure. Everything's flexible here with these four panels and the sweatband. With the 5950, obviously that's a rigid structured cap. And then when you look at the inside, very similar up front, the two panels have the buckram bonded to the fabric. You can see that here, that white linen look. Um, branded seam covers over the threads. And then you notice also the difference in the sweatband here. You've got a uniform textile sweatband there that is just um, uh, same surface all the way across. And on the 3930, you've got a mixture of the elastic material and then bands top and bottom with the terry cloth. Now that we've done a few side-by-side -side comparisons, let's uh, bring it back all together here with all three hat types. Overall, I'd say that the 5950 standard is my dominant choice. It's the hat that I have the most of. And the things that I really like about it are just the overall structure, uh, the construction. I really prefer this sweatband. Um, and really, the high crown, I think, works better for me. Um, if I'm going to work or something um, and style my hair, as funny as that sounds, um, this allows me to take it on and off on my way to work. When I get there, I take it off and usually I've got enough volume in this hat, uh, like a fedora or something like that, to where it doesn't really upset things. So um, this is my choice and you can get a sense for the volume now that I'm wearing it in the video. Um, and then sometimes when I want a little bit more casual look and maybe just throw it on after a shower and don't really care about my hair, the low profile choice is uh, is not a bad one. I actually like the uh, snug fit and more conformance to my head. So I just don't wear it as, as often as the 5950. Um, I think that this higher crown has a little bit more style. Maybe you agree. Um, and then lastly, I find that the 3930 I use most often if I'm just going to the gym or something. Um, or wrapping up an athletic event like I've gone cycling or something like that. It's just nice to throw on your head. Um, and I find that the, the terry cloth in the sweatband makes it a little bit more um, comfortable for that purpose if you're sweating or something or um, doing anything active. So I think that's a good choice and that's kind of why I have them around. But those are kind of the three modes that I wear these caps in. Um, but overall my favorite in terms of comfort and being able to wear it the longest is really the standard 5950. So, Hopefully that gives you a good overview of these three cap styles. Um, uh, other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.